Hi there, Ramblin' Pam here. I'm on the Southwest Chief this morning. We started out in Flagstaff, Arizona, and I'll be taking it all the way to Kansas City, Missouri. This is the inside of the Flagstaff Railroad Depot. My friend Jake took these pictures of me boarding the train early in the morning. They were from the uh, depot camera that streams 24-7 there in Flagstaff. This will be my home sweet home for the next 24 hours. There's a few different things they've changed around since COVID hit. The dining car wasn't open on the way out there. On the way back, it was open, but they only limit about two to three people at a time to go in there. These are some of the meals that you can order from the dining car. If you have a sleeper room, they're included in the price of your ticket. You can also order one alcoholic beverage with your meal at no extra cost, but any more than that, you have to pay for. Breakfast was a Jimmy Dean sausage sandwich and Fruit Loops and coffee. Lunch today. They brought it in a nice bag. Got an enchilada, salad, dinner roll. This is my dinner. Got a dinner salad, a roll, and this is shrimp with lobster sauce and a brownie for dessert. Lunch on the way back was pasta and meatballs, a side salad, dinner roll, and vanilla pudding for dessert. And between your meals, you can order coffee, water, soda. I think sometimes you can get like juice also, and the attendant will bring it to your room for you. They used to have a hospitality cart that was really nice at the end of the hall. They had coffee there all day long, but since COVID, they stopped uh, offering the coffee. They'll bring it to your room though. We're stopped here in Winslow, Arizona for a minute. You might recognize Winslow, Arizona from the song the Eagles made famous, Standing on the Corner in Winslow, Arizona. But did you know that Winslow, Arizona is also home to the most well-preserved impact crater in the world? The next town that we went through was Gallup, New Mexico. In 1881, it was founded as the headquarters for the Southern Transcontinental Railroad Route. It was named America's Most Patriotic Town by Rand McNally. It's also home to the historic El Rancho Hotel. platform is really empty this time. In the past, this whole thing was lined with vendors. Our next stop is going to be Lamy, New Mexico. It has quite an interesting story to it. Back during World War II, they brought in the engineers and scientists and their families to work at Los Alamos. When they got here, they had no idea where they were going to go or what their job was going to be. They were shuttled into Santa Fe to an office to be processed and then they were shuttled up to Los Alamos from there.
Las Vegas, New Mexico shares its name with Las Vegas, Nevada, but the two couldn't be any more different if they tried. They say that visiting Las Vegas, New Mexico is like stepping back in time. There's 900 places listed on the National Historic Register. The Hotel Castaneda is a Harvey house. It's also been featured on Ghost Adventures. We're climbing up the Raton Pass and pretty soon we'll be going through the tunnel. Built in the 1870s, the Raton Tunnel connects New Mexico with Colorado. It completed the route from Chicago to LA and all the rest of California. It was known as the steepest main line in the West. The conductor just said that the Raton Pass is just under 8,000 foot level. through the Raton Pass Tunnel right now. Everything's all black right now. <laughs> We're coming into Trinidad, Colorado. little tidbit of information on Trinidad that might be interesting to you. It's known as the sex change capital of the world. My next stop will be La Junta in about one hour. That will be a break stop in one hour at La Junta. Junta, Colorado now. Gonna take a little bit of a break. Nice little town. La Junta is home to the annual tarantula migration from the end of summer through October. Conductors on board. We are coming up to Lamar, Colorado. This is gonna be a very quick stop. It's for D-Train boarding passengers only. The sun's getting ready to go down, so I'll catch up with you in the morning.
We have one final stop to fill up before making it to the Kansas City Union Station Depot. I made it here to Kansas City. I'm at Union Station. Give you a little view of what it looks like in here. Let me go up. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> That's my ride. While I was in Missouri, I got to spend a few days with my son and daughter-in-law, my two granddaughters, and my grand dog boss. Yeah, come on. Oh, he did! That was so good! <laughs> While we were there, we hiked the old Rock Island Vale Railroad Tunnel. The tunnel was built in 1903, and it's 441 feet long formerly known as the Missouri Central Railroad Line. Well, I made it back home. What a wonderful trip that was. If you've never taken the train, I highly suggest that you do. We'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.